Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Pasha Mukherjee. If you're new to this channel, then I'm an NHS junior doctor, former Miss England, and here on this channel, we pretty much talk about anything I feel like. Before we start this video, I'm gonna, first of all, apologize. I know this video is going to have lots of added sounds in the background because I've left both my windows open and my room is facing out on the street. So I do apologize, but it's really, really hot and I, it was between leaving the windows open or putting a fan on and that would have been noisier. So we've opted for windows open, so I apologize. And that's the same reason because of the temperature that I've not put any makeup on besides some lipstick. I have just showered because this video is actually about me trying out the original Revlon One Step Volumizer and Hair Dryer. Now, first of all, I wanna say, I know recently, if you've been watching my videos on YouTube, you probably know this already. I've been posting a lot about hair tools specifically my mission to find something that literally requires minimum amount of effort, minimum amount of time, but gives me a look, a hair basically that lasts long and is resistant to becoming kinky and frizzy despite doing sports or even putting my hair up, which I have to do for work purposes. So that's why here I am again, testing another hair tool. I thought I'd get this because this was supposed to be the original sort of, you know, hair dryer slash volumizer. It also helps to straighten the hair. This is the one that I've heard the most about. I know that hair brush stylers have been there for a long, long time, but I knew this one was one of the most original and really highly rated products. So that's why I went ahead and got this off Amazon. So, as you know, I have tested out the... <laughs> the Dyson Airwrap and also a dupe of that on my channel here. And I thought, whilst we're on this deep dive looking into hair tools, we might as well just go ahead and try this out. But I promise you, there is some other different content coming up on my channel. I know I haven't done anything about medicine in a while and I promise it's coming, it's coming, okay? Just, just stay put. And I'm sorry, there are cars whizzing past constantly, so I apologize. Anyway, I'm freshly showered. My hair's been sort of left damp, just towel dried for I'd say the last 45 minutes. So I'd say this is sort of like the perfect time for me to go ahead and style my hair. So first of all, I've already cheated and um, I've already opened this product up and sort of gave it a mini try on dry hair, but it wasn't really a proper try. So I thought, I will actually film a proper try, a proper first impressions of this hair tool here on this channel. So my hair is generally naturally quite wavy and it dries sort of in this like kinky wavy style, which is okay on the first day. And then it just becomes really scraggly and horrible. And it's really in need of a haircut as well, which I'm going to be getting fairly soon. And that's why it needs extra TLC to make it look good, okay? And also, I wanted to give you guys a realistic sort of look of what I would be looking like at work anyway. Usually I don't wear a lot of makeup, I'll just have some sunscreen on, my brows done, and on the occasion I'll have, odd occasion, I'll have some lippy on. So that's why I wanted to give you guys a realistic sort of look. Also, it's too hot to wear makeup. And I just want to get used to seeing myself how I normally look without constantly sort of having to pile on makeup and only being used to seeing myself and considering myself looking beautiful when I have makeup on. So this is sort of a bit of a self-therapy session as well. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you guys what my hair looks like right now. Now I am, I, I am, you know, having some female pattern hair loss around here, you know, I've talked about that as well on my channel. I've been speaking a lot about hair actually recently, and that's because it's the one thing that's consuming my life recently. And as you can see, it's about that length. So ideally I would want to sort of section my hair out and today we'll do a little half section to just really give this hair tool a proper go. Okay, so let's go. First of all, I'm going to go in with my serum, which is the L'Oreal Absolute Repair Serum. I've had this for absolutely ages. Just a couple of puffs. I get my most frizz up here, so I like to concentrate that up here and also at the tips right down here. I'm just gonna give my hair a little brush through just just sort of detangle it a little bit usually sometimes when I'm feeling good I will use a detangler comb in the um, shower but today's not been one of those days the serums made it like infinitely easier to detangle my hair I'm just gonna take this clip and just section it from the top down here so one thing I faced with my hair it's the fact that 
when it's freshly washed, it's really, really brittle. Um, which means that if I do anything with my hair when it's freshly washed, there's a lot of breakage, a lot of hair fall. And that's why I tend not to play around with it too much. So now that I've sectioned it, I'm going to go in with my Seturem Planet Nature Brazilian Finish Blow Dry Spray from Seturem London. This smells beautiful, by the way. And I'm also going to go in with my heat protection spray. So first of all, I'm looking at it and at the bottom over here, there's four markings. Zero, which is basically off. Cold, it's got a little um, image of like a snowflake and then one and two. So that's four markings. And obviously this is what the barrel is, so fairly easy. I wanna go in with number one. Which is it? This is cold. So that did most of it, but just to get rid of that final bit of moisture, I'm just going to switch it to really hot. Right, that looks really nice and sleek and actually is dried completely as well. Um, I think that took about three minutes to do, to just do one side. Um, and I will say that I've not seen a lot of hair being stuck to the actual barrel as well. It's not, it's not too hot to hold. I can hold this bit with no problem at this point. Actually, it's really, really ergonomic, so it feels really easy to maneuver it. Um, not too heavy as well, I'd say. Um, and it, you know, decent amount of power. So I'm gonna go do this side now. Okay. There's a bit of kinkiness going on in the middle bit, so I'm just going to, it's also a little bit damp as well, um, so I'm just going to go back in a little bit. So again, this side took about three minutes, and now I'm going to do the top end. Now the top, I like to just kind of rush it a little bit by turning my hair upside down like this and I'm actually going to brush it like that first and then I'm going to style it individually because there's just such a lot of it. It's funny, I've actually got hair loss but it's in a very specific area. Um, the rest of it is really quite a lot of hair. And this is my heat protection spray from HCR Gold <laughs> uh, from Zedrum London. It's a multivitamin treatment. Uh, it works as a multivitamin treatment and also a heat protection spray. I'm sorry I have to say it was in this uh, hair. But I'm also going to be using my John Frieda Luxurious Volume Root Booster Little Spray and that's just for sort of these areas over here. Let's go. Right, so now I've pretty much dried most of my hair. I'm now going to go in and style it a little bit more thoroughly. As you won't believe it, just when I was um, turning my hair over, I spotted some extra white hairs. Old age is not fun, not fun at all. Anyway, I'm gonna go in now with uh, the slightly hotter air. <laughs> So that whole thing took me about 20 minutes to achieve. The question remains now, in this humidity, how long will it take for this to sort of become flat or kinky? I can already feel there's some moisture still over here at this end, um, sort of the thickest points of my hair. Um, so I feel like those parts are going to go the fastest. 
So just for completion, I'm going to go in and just go over this part of my hair, just back here, with this, um, with this again in a bit of a hotter, higher heat, just to get that final, um, you know, dry effect essentially. And that is it guys. The whole thing took me just 25 minutes to do. I'm really happy with the results. I think the power of the tool is really good. Now the true test would be how long does this last? Will it kink up when I tie my hair up? Will the humidity affect it? And how many days will I go before I need to wash my hair and it starts feeling greasy or it starts to look all scraggly? Now I found generally, if I usually hair dry my hair like this and get it to a straight hair like this, it kind of lasts and looks good and smooth and soft for a couple of days at least. So uh, I'm hoping that will be the effect. Um, as I said, again, I can still feel there's some moisture left at the back of my hair, but I'm not sure if that's just sweat. So I'm just gonna leave it alone because I think I already gave a lot lot of juice already to it hoping that it will retain it so that's it guys that is my first impressions of the Revlon Salon one step hair volumizer and hair dryer I'm going to do a full review and verdict after I've used it a couple of times just to give you an indication of how much I paid for it I think I paid about 42 pounds for this I will leave a link in the description of exactly where I got it from I got it from Amazon so yes thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and of course if you think this kind of video is useful for other people then just share it thank you for watching